hello friends welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 19 in our training series so in my last video i have shown that how to create a vdisk now we are going to promote that vdisk and we are going to create multiple vms from that vdisk so let me go and go inside my uh, server so here is the vdisk the first thing you need guys need to do is go into the collection and this is the master vm which we have created in my last video so first of all just right click on that and you guys need to add this uh, machine into the active directory so i'm going to uh, i'm going into the properties and click on active directory and cl click on create a machine account so here you guys need to give the organizational unit so i'm going to select the ctx vda and inside ctx vda i'm going to create an citrix vda server for pvs I'm going to select this OU and going to click on create machine account so the machine account has been created successfully after that click on close and go on your VDS pool so after that you guys need to click uh, go on to the properties and click on properties so it's taking one or two uh, minutes so after that you guys need to go on the vdisk uh, access mode so currently in the it's in the private mode and we are going to change it from the standard mode so what is the difference between uh, uh, the private and standard mode so in the private mode you can uh, do the read write operations so whatever the patching and uh, application upgrades you want to do you can do in the private mode uh, and if it's in the standard mode you are guys now are not able to do any changes on this vdisk so i'm going to select this standard and cache ram i'm going to select cache if RAM, cache on ram overflow with hard disk so this is the standard settings which we generally do in the production environment so click on ok and it will take like one or two minutes to make these changes so just wait for uh, just wait for one or two minutes so it's just i'm uh, just waiting for it you guys can see that the mode of here the mode is private and after that it will go into the standard mode so just wait for one or two minutes so you can see that my vdisk has been locked and it's in the standard mode so uh, lock means you are not able to do any changes if it's in the standard mode and you guys can see that there is a cache uh, in the vdisk so whenever the cache uh, goes high on the ram so it will goes into the hard disk so that's the standard setting we will do on the vdisk end after that we need to do some more changes from the device collection end so just click on device collection and then the collection so this is the master uh, vm which we have created in my previous video so just click on this target device click on properties and here you guys need to change make sure the type is production and the boot form is vdisk and click on ok after that you guys need to uh, check one more setting setting which is vdisk so make sure you have the appropriate vdisk attached to this uh, target device click on ok after that you guys need to go on to your vcenter let me go inside my vcenter let me click on launch and this is my vcenter and this is the master vm which we have created uh, from which we have created the vdisk so just click on this vm and go into the properties click on edit settings and here you guys can see that there is a hard disk attached to this uh, vm i'm going i'm uh, deleting this vdisk so that my vm get booted from the vdisk so just uh, you guys can see that there is no hard disk attached to this vm and you guys can see that it will uh, get booted and from the vdisk so just uh, right click on this vm and go into the power and click on power on so let me open this into the console and you guys can see that without hard disk it start to get booting that's why uh, because of uh, this is booting from the um, pvs vdisk and you soon you will get this information that this is the vhdx uh, vhdx hard disk and now 
we need to go into our PVS and let me check if there is a green check mark here and let I have refreshed this and you guys can see that there is a green check mark before this target device that means the VM get booted uh, from the VDisk and it's perfectly fine and you guys can see that there is a like let me oh sorry alt control delete i am pressing at alt control delete so just click on send and alt control delete and you guys can see that the vm get booted now i'm going to shut down this vm so that i can create a template uh, i can convert this vm to a template and we from the template we can create multiple vms so click on shut down and click on shut down so you guys can they see that the operation get uh, the status is succeeded click on close and i'm going to wait uh, for some time meanwhile the my vm get <coughs> shut down so just wait for one or two minutes i'll show the whole process So you guys can see that um, my VM gets shut down perfectly fine. After that, you guys need to change this VM to a template. So how you guys can do this? Just, <laughs> just right click on this VM, and here this is and there is one option template, and click on convert to a template. So click on yes. So this VM get uh, converted into a template. So you guys can see here, this is the template uh ctx mst pvs server 01 so in our next video we are going to create multiple vms from this template so how you guys can to, can do that so just watch my video and watch my next video and just stay connected with the ctx cloud just uh, like and share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you guys